been a cold 24 hours in Shanghai. Woo! I totally can see my breath. <sighs> Let's go to Bali. Guys, we just got off our seven hour flight. Oh my God, we have a lot to do. It is like midnight right now. We got a lot to do before we can get out of the airport uh, and get to our hotel. But uh, yeah, let's stop the vlog today and let's start the vlog back up tomorrow, day one of Bali. Yes, yes. Oh my God! All right, I'm gonna do a quick plug-in. If you're coming to Indonesia or Bali for less than 30 days and you're for certain about that, you don't need a visa. But if you're gonna come for at least 30 days, and for sure, from what you think, staying longer than 30 days, you're gonna need to get a visa on arrival. Uh, later on, you can actually extend it an additional 30 days. I thought you could extend it at the airport, but apparently not, so visa on arrival. All right, good morning from Bali. We absolutely made it. Yesterday was actually a lot quicker than we thought it was gonna be. This is the first day in Bali. We're actually staying at the Solaris Hotel, which is in Kuta. Just got some water for the room. Oh my God, there it is. So yeah, back at the room. So this is what you get for 15 American dollars out here in Bali. Now you can certainly get a lot cheaper or you can go a little more expensive. Sky's the limit for you, but this is what you get. You walk into the room, you got the fridge right here. You walk right in. The one thing that I look for when you're going into a hotel is clean. So this was super, super clean. You got a nice king size bed over here. Almost positive that it's king, pretty big. I got a great view of the pool. If you walk this way, and the bathroom's right over here. So you got that toilet, you got a sink, you got me and you got a stand-up shower with a beautiful waterfall. And this is the type of value that can get out in Southeast Asia. Again, my hotel was about $15 a night. We're staying here for the first 11 nights of the trip. So tomorrow I'm actually checking out three different properties, uh, kind of planning like a long-term stay, long-term rental, which I am planning on potentially keeping Bali as kind of like a home base. So we'll check that out later on. But yeah, the value is great out in Southeast Asia. You can get rooms for five, six, seven, eight bucks. You can get a lot of hospitals around the same price. Based on how I'm traveling, 15 bucks is actually perfect for what I get out of it. I can't stop sweating, oh my God. God. We gotta get out of here. So I'm actually waiting for the crew right now. They should be awake soon. We're gonna go get some acai bowls. All right, here's our dude. Uh, I'll, I'll go shabby. All right, and when you're coming out to Bali, you could actually rent vans like this, especially with it when you're with groups of people. Uh, it's super cheap. You can get them for like six hours, eight hours, 10 hours. We actually have a straight shot to our acai bowl place. And uh, yeah, it's actually 10 bucks. So 10 bucks to get there, not too bad. Split between five people, especially. All right, we made it. Yeah, this is the spot right here. This is uh, Nalu Bowls, which is actually the first like smoothie shop in all of Bali, supposedly. We can go up. Yeah, you can. Yep. That works. Thank you. You got a good, pretty good following on Instagram, so check them out. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good morning. A couple locations too, but we're out in Samyak right now. This is reserved for us, really. Take it. Reserved. Oh my God, where do we start? Oh, the, here's the outside bowls. <laughs> oh, that's the bowls right there. All right, I think it's about time, so I'm going to introduce everyone to the vlog right here. <laughs> we got Dustin right here. Welcome to the vlog. We got Sean right here. This is one of Brent's buddies. Welcome to the vlog, Sean. Good to see you. Good to meet you, let's say. We got Miss Lauren Nally. And we got this guy right here. Is this Brent Nally? Crypto Brent? What's going on, buddy? Welcome to Bali. It's a crypto guy. Yeah. <laughs> Chris will walk up to people like uh, in a public space and be like, Oh my god, is that Brent Nelly? Is that Brent Nelly? Can you get your autograph on Brent? I'll get stuff so everybody will turn and they'll take a look at it. Yeah, I've been making vlogs with Brent uh, basically for his YouTube channel for the last how long? Since September is when the first one came out, but we started planning months before that, Yeah, we started planning months and months before that, so it's uh, it's been an awesome journey from making vlogs to the crypto channel, working at LinkedIn, and uh, now we're out in Bali together, so yeah, thanks for being here. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. Best asa you will have ever had, hands down. What are we doing? Beach. We're gonna hit the beach we're now. Hit the beach. Bali. So Semyak is a pretty popular and touristy area. I wouldn't recommend staying in this area for too long, but definitely uh, do a little pit stop. There's a lot of nightlife here. Kuta is pretty, pretty touristy spot where we're staying at, but uh, it was, again, it was close to the airport, so something really easy for us to stop at at two in the morning, but thank you. Hydrate, don't forget to hydrate. 
<laughs> How safe is this? Don't you love this, Brent? <laughs> oh, yeah. Vietnam is even crazier too. That's all, the all two code, like it's all up to date with all the codes and the regulations. You would think so, right? <laughs> <laughs> you would hope so. That is pure skill right there. That's something we'll learn in the next couple months. All right, we made it to 66 Beach. It's kind of windy. Waves looks kind of rough. We'll see how it is. I love these type of entrances. You see it all over Bali, probably Indonesia. All right, 66 Beach right over here. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Thank you. I've been waiting for this. No, thank you. Thank you, though. Did, did she just mock me? So pretty much the beach can shoot all the way down to Kuta, pretty close to the airport. I think it stops at Waterbum Bali, and the beach shoots all the way back up that way. Uh, I'm not sure if it's connected to Chengdu, but it shoots pretty far north. Rent surfboards back there. I don't remember the price that I paid, but this is the area that I started surfing a year and a half ago. Oh my god, thank you so much. Awesome. Cheers, brother. Oh, this is life right here. Not bad. Awesome, awesome time at 66 Beach. It's really relaxing just to come out here, chill, watch the surfers. Uh, I think we're gonna come back out here next time and do a little surfing ourselves. So what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna head back to the hotel right now. I know we wanted to get some massages. So the big thing out here in Southeast Asia is the massages are really, really, really cheap. In Bali, I think the hotel massage was 120,000 rupees, which is equivalent to about 10 to 12 dollars within like a two, three block radius. We have around six, five or six massage places right around our hotel. Um, so yeah, we're probably gonna go back, get a massage right now. The massages are like six bucks in Bali or Southeast Asia. It's amazing out here. We'll go for some haze. It's a great massage. It's funny. I heard Brent's giggle in the middle of my massage, and I was like, oh my god, Brent and Lauren's right next to me, and then you just showed up. <laughs> it was like a family massage. The whole team, we were, were all there. The whole team. Squad, massage squad goals. <laughs> <laughs> massage squad goals. It was great. Oh god. All right, hey guys, I am back in the room right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the first vlog in Bali. The group of people that you guys saw in the vlog today uh, will be traveling with me for the next month, let's say, so they'll be in random vlogs. Uh, I didn't plan this vlog out whatsoever, but it was, I was excited to vlog. You know, it was day one, moving into a new country, being in Bali. I had to vlog, I had to throw the drone up. We had nothing planned. We're pretty tired from our flight, um, so what we basically did was hang out in the local area. We, we thought of the closest beach, we thought of you know, places close by that we could just take a cab to, take a van to, uh, and yeah, just hang out at a beach. I look forward to producing tons and tons and tons more vlogs, so I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. Um, tomorrow's vlog is gonna be really, really big. Uh, I'm gonna actually be vlogging three different properties here in Changu. Again, I plan on moving to Bali, um, so I want to look for some long-term property rentals. Potentially year property rentals is my goal, uh, and my idea, that's what a lot of people will do, is they'll rent long-term to stay in Bali. It'll kind of be like a house hunters type version vlog if you're planning on moving out to Bali or if you actually are curious about lifestyle if you were to move out to Southeast Asia so look out for that vlog that'll be the next vlog coming out in the next day or two um, but yeah hope you guys really enjoyed my first vlog there's gonna be a lot more vlogs coming out a lot of drone shots a lot of cinematic sequences more importantly a lot of sunsets and tropical vibes if you guys really enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more sunsets more vlogs like this in Southeast Asia hit that like button subscribe to my channel uh, and definitely hit that notification bell in the bottom corner so you're notified whenever a new video comes out and yeah be on the lookout for my next next few vlogs, the next one coming out being House Hunters in Bali. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.